Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about how to create a Golang plugin for custom authentication in type. The one that we'll be looking at today is about using this custom auth check, wherein a particular function that you're writing will be executed in order to authenticate a request that comes through the gateway. Now we have a document on how to create this Golang plugin, the one that you see here in my screen. That is called a bit down, which contains a sample for how to do the authentication using Golang plugin. Yeah, you can see that in my screen now. This function here is quite simple. You can see this is my main function, which is internally calling another function here. What we are checking here is that we are retrieving the header value for the key authorization, and we are cross-checking whether the token is equal to ABC here. If it equals, the request will be proxy to the upstream. Otherwise, it will be denied by the gateway. And this is a quite simple function just to demo how to do this one. You can put uh, any, any amount of logic that you want in here. One important thing to note here is that once you have written this go file, we'll have to create an SO file out of this. And the most important thing in that is that each of our gateway version will be using a different Golang version. So the plugin that you are creating, the SO file that you're creating using which Go version should match with our gateway version. Otherwise, it, it will not be able to process it properly. So to make things easier, what we have done in Tyke is that we have released a Docker image, which you can use in order to build this SO file according to the gateway version that you are using. Let me put this call a bit up and show it to you here. You can see. There is a Docker image available here called as Tyke plugin compiler. And we can see that it is referring to a particular gateway version. So when I compile using this particular image, it means that this plugin, this SO file, will be compatible with our gateway version 293. So for this demo, I am running a gateway on version 310, which I will be using in order to generate this file. Let me quickly spin up my Docker setup for Tyke here. And also, let me create the SO file as well. Okay, in here, you can see I have the file custom auth.go, the same function that I was just showing on the screen. Let me quickly just show the contents of it. I've done something extra here with respect to logging. Here, you can see I'm, I'm doing some kind of logging here. And in order to do that, you have to import our log package here, like this. And you can later use it in your functions to print anything. You can see that my Docker setup is up now. Now, I'll be using the Docker image to create the SO file now. As you can see here, my gateway version is 3.1.0. So I'm using the image that is equivalent to 3.1.0 will take a bit of time to create this SO file. Once this SO file has been created, we have to take it and place it under the file system of the gateway so that the gateway can load it as part of its process. Now, since I am running it on a Docker image, I will be using it in my local file system and map it to the directory in the gateway's file system. Also, quickly pull up the logs for the gateway here. You can see that my plugin is ready now. So let me quickly check if the file has been generated. Yeah, you can see that it has been generated. Now I'll have to copy it from its original folder over here into a folder that I hooked up in the Docker file system. The middleware one. Yeah, I placed it under the middleware. So if I go to my Docker Compose YAML, you can see that this middleware folder is linked to this particular part in the gateways file system. So if I log into the gateways file system now, you'll be able to see this SO file under my gateways file system. I can quickly show that one as well. Okay, I'm logging into my gateway. I'm under the path gateopt here. And let me log into the middleware folder. 
and in here you can see that custom or so file is available. Now we have to do some configuration in the API definition in order to refer to this particular SO file as part of our middleware process. Let me go to the gateway here. Let me log out and log in back because I just restarted everything. And I'm going to the API section. You can see a lot of APIs already available in my system. Let me quickly add a new API. I'm going to name it as Golang plugin. <laughs> And once you have given the initial name and listen path, it is called down to the end of it. You can see that by default, there's a prediction token. I'm going to change it to Golang plug. You click on save. Let me go back to the same API and go to the view raw definition. It gives us the JSON representation of our API definition. And here you can see there's a custom middleware right here. And this is where we will have to Tell Gate about the details of our plugin, where to load it from, which method to load, and things like that. You can see here the function name is my auth plugin check. And I'm picking here. You can see this is the file system path of my SO file. And finally, I have to tell Tyke what kind of plugin that I'm trying to use here. Since Tyke supports many languages, we have to mention which <laughs> language this plugin is written using. So it's Golang plugin. I'm putting the driver as Flow plugin. Once you have done this part here, in this update here, now let me exit out of my containers batch interface and go to the logs part. Okay. Now to test it, I'll fire a couple of curl requests. As you can see here in this command, I am hitting my API Golang plugin and I am using a wrong token here, AABC as in the header for authenticating this API. So when I hit this request, you can see that the gateway has written me a 403 forbidden error because this string here, AABC is not the one that I have authenticating against in my function. And even in the gateway logs also, you can see that it has failed. Now, if I try to hit the same URL using a proper token, which is AABC vectors, you will see that now the gateway has verified and you can see there's a log printed here and it has proxy to the upstream and it has given me a successful response. So it is quite simple to achieve this. 